Oh, there we go. We can hear you now. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Okay. Uh, so today the, I will keep the the continuation of the talk last time. What you talk about the anger management? Am I right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So yes. anger management. Keep the continuations. So now the some points that the uh, hello. Yeah, I have to, uh, told the. Uh, uh, do you remember last time that I talked about that uh, uh, thinking the negative points of the anger and uh, uh, focusing on your breath? That part is I finished. So whenever you get angry or whenever you get some like upset, that you can just focus on your breath and just distract your mind. That point, I think last time I talked, no? I finished that point. Now the today now the now the now the now the one other point is that the two when you apply the antidote for the anger, the third point is a very important point is the forgiveness is the very important the forgiveness. Forgiveness is that that's a two way of the forgiving. The here what I'm talking about the forgiving mentally you're forgiving. Okay, you don't have to go and uh, tell the person that uh, you forgive them. Okay, most important thing is uh, here that the mentally the forgiving is a uh, very important mentally for uh, forgiving someone. Okay, mentally forgiving is uh, something like that. So the person certain the person who just triggered your anger or the you 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 generate the anger toward the someone so what you have to do is that you have to visualize that that certain person and uh, in front of the you then mentally you have to tell that, that you are forgiving them okay that mentally you have to tell that you are forgiving so that is the some like a forgiveness no so forgiveness is that you have to mentally you have to visualize and you have to tell that person that, that you are forgiving okay mentally okay that is the the forgiveness okay so this is the very powerful very powerful and uh, when you sometimes that uh, when you think about the uh, some persons that uh, immediately you will get very angry with that person so what you have to do is that uh, mentally you have to forgive that person whatever that person have did towards you hurt you or the told you the very harsh word or the whatever you did okay so for doing that there's a there's a few ways how the how you can forgive the person. Okay, sometimes the, the, it is not that easy to forgive that person. There is a three ways of the how you can forgive the others. The first way, you forgive the others based on the compassion. We based on the compassion, forgiving others based on the compassion means that the thing that person's the suffering, thing that person's the problems, things that that person's the difficulty, then generate the compassion. When someone hurts you, that person is also having a lot of the issue inside their life. Sometimes we may, might not see their issue, their problem, their difficulties. That person might have the same as you, that the difficulties and the problems and the uh, mental stress and a lot of them might have it. So that's why. Mm -hmm. I have uh, one thing to tell that the one thing that the one very, I mean, the very true and the very heart touching story. That's a very long back. I think that's around maybe around maybe 15 years or 16 years back. When I was that time, I was in the South India, one big monastery. So one small, I mean, the monk, he's around maybe 10, 12 years old, kid monk. He, I'd received a lot of the complaints about the, his among the teachers, the complaints. And the, he was a very, I mean, the, how to say, the very, not only the very, I mean, the root, root and the, whatever the teacher tell me, immediately fight with the teacher. Immediately, he cannot listen to teacher. Not only one time, so many times he fights with the teacher, fights with the, his friends. So all the teachers see him as a very bad kid, very bad. Definitely, definitely, they will see like that. Whatever the teachers teach him or the tell him to do, he will fight. And he will be very angry. Kids. Then I called him to my room. He was around 12 years old. I think that 12 to 13, that's a very young kid. Then I talk with him and I see. When I heard his story, it's really, I was shocked. I didn't know. He was actually, he was from the northern India, one of the small village. Then he was sharing the, his family story. He told me that the, his father was a very drunkard and very short-tempered. 
one time he rather beat his mother front of the his eye and the kicked several times on the his I mean the her mother and it damaged the, her mother's kidney. Now you can imagine that the, how will the, the kids the, will feel the, how they become the short term better angry. Some this old teacher might not knowing the kids the story whole story, you know. So that's why the what we have someone just take it the anger, but the, we have it's very important to. Uh, practice the compassion that take that person might have a lot of the stress maybe he had a very bad morning in his home or office and come out and they shouted you or the whatever and the whoever so who generated the anger so that is the first one is the thinking on the base on the compassion think the think the sufferings of the problems of the difficulties of the other based on the compassion then you think then you try to forgive that person Okay, forgive the special those person who triggers your anger. Okay, this is the first way of the forgiving. Second way, the base on the idea of the impermanent. Base on the idea of the impermanence of thing is that, that we are not going to stay whole in this whole forever. The person who triggered you anger is not going to stay in this whole forever. We are just like a temporary visitor in this world. So there is a one like a one story it given in the in the that uh, in the Buddhist text, it's uh, one example is like that. If they are the five prisoner, if they are the five prisoner in the one small cell, five prisoner in one small cell, they are going to execute tomorrow. Okay, they have only one night to stay together. All five prisoners going to execute tomorrow morning. Now, some they are friends, some they are the enemy each other. What what should they do? The, they should fight each other, or they should live happily that one night. The fighting each other, no use. Anyway, they are going to die tomorrow morning. Exactly. This is the same thing. That what we're, we are going to, we are sure that we will live one day this in the world. No one knows the when. But one thing is sure is that we are going to live this world. You will live and the person who triggered your anger will live one day. So we are all are impermanent. We are impermanent. And what use of generating the anger and what use of generally the anger and the fighting and the quarreling each other. It is just like that five prisoner was going to die the next day. There's no use of the fighting each other. So that is the impermanent idea. Think that the today he might hurt you. Forget that we have, why we waste our time to gen, being unhappy where someone generated, someone generated or someone, someone triggered your anger, someone hurts you by why we waste our time to hurting them back, waste our time to hating them back, why we waste our own happiness, why we waste our time to destroying the, our own happiness. So this is the idea of the impermanence. So based on that, you should keep the forgive them the others. You will see that when you're mentally, when you make the forgive to the others, whoever hurts you, you will feel the tremendous of the joy or tremendous of the relax or tremendous of the peace inside. Visualize that person who triggered your anger and uh, tell that person uh, you don't have to mentally just think that you are giving, you are forgiving that person. Okay. So that is like, you don't have to go and tell that person, oh, I forgive you. I forgive you. Okay. You don't have to go and tell that. Okay. Just Visualize that person in front of you and the forgive them. Okay. Oh, this is the second way thinking the base, thinking the idea of impermanence. Okay. You, we are temporarily visitor in this world. Oh, we are just a temporarily visitor in this world. One day we have to leave. So that's why. So just think that I will forgive everyone who hurt me. Okay. So one time it's a very interesting that uh, one, in fact, that was I was giving a talk and the one that kid. Correction center. That's a kid correction center. Lots of kids they got. I mean, the kids are around under the glow of the eating. Very young kids. I think they got caught because of the drug or steal or this a lot of things. Not that kids. And the, some, they are the more normally they are a little bit of their attitude is a little bit. I mean, a uh, little bit aggressive. No. So when I was talking and laughing, and one kid asked me the very sharp question. I think kids is around fourteen or fifteen years old. I think he got caught in that uh, correction center or detention center because of the, his behavior. I think so. But he asked me the one very interesting question. He told me one thing. If someone come and punch on the, my face, will you get angry? So that is a very nice question. Then if someone come and punch on your face, what will you do? You know? Then I told, that, uh, I told that the kid that that's in the kid detention center. Huh? 
So then I told the kid that if someone come to punch on my face, definitely I will not get angry. I will think very carefully how to find the best lawyer to sue him back. <laughs> yeah, this is what we made the mistake is that reaction. Now, anger is the what we're doing the reaction. First reaction which comes to the anger. Then the first reaction anger is this one big mistake we are doing. After we generate in anger, then the second, third, every step will go wrong. Because the first step, you only took the one wrong step. So that's why the, that is the normally people, the reaction is that. You know? So that way, someone hurts you, someone does something, you definitely you will get angry. You, know? you will definitely get angry. Yeah. So that thing. So yeah, mm -hmm. one time really, that was uh, in the, uh, uh, in the, in the, airport in the queue i was standing in the line in the stand standing in the one queue, uh, line so the suddenly immediately one person jumped front of that front of us front of us, jumped on us and the person who was standing next to me he was that very freak out and he was a little bit freak out and he i can see the, his expression and the, he was saying something so i told him that the, yeah we have to practice the patient we have to practice the patient so he told me the one thing, you don't have a, like this power of the patient like me, you can go back to the patient. But anyway, so this is something like that, you can learn it, no? But personally, that is the one type of the excuse. I don't have the patient. You don't have it today, but you can have it tomorrow if you practice it. So sometimes we bring the lot of the excuses to generate the anger. These are the excuses because you want to get angry. So you bring the excuse. So that's why the, you try. So today you try to practice patient tomorrow and a few days later, then it will become much easier to control the anger. Okay. The second point, thinking the impermanence and the forgiving. Okay. Third point is the thinking the uh, forgiving the others based on the idea of the karma. Okay. Someone's got hurt you. So that's a very good that sometimes you have to think, oh, that might be, that is the result of the, my karma. Someone hurts you because that the, you get hurt it because of the our bad karmas because of our bad karmas so that's why that we get hurt so think that the thing you should think that the result of the karma so that's why it's a very helpful that the, sometimes the what happened is sometimes wrong bad things happens in our life bad things happen in our life. definitely we will try to blame someone we will try to blame someone and the, that is the find some scapegoat not to blame someone because that we cannot accept it so that's why the, you will find the blame someone no so i think that you have the saying no my homework ate by dog or cat my homework is ate by the dog or dog isn't it hello i cannot hear him sorry okay. yes sir huh it's no, the dog I, ate my homework Dog. My homework is by the dog, isn't it? Yes, yes. I thought it's a cat or dog. I say dog. Okay, my homework is by the dog. This is the this is the normally actually we are doing it all the time, but a little bit different way. Something not happens. We'll find someone to blame, whether the condition or the person. So that's why you are blaming and the you generate the anger toward that person, because you cannot accept it. You cannot accept that you want to find someone to blame. No someone to blame and the yeah so that the thing no so so normally so what the things some things are not goes well so you will find someone to blame when the things go well you will try to take the credit you will get the credit so you will try to get the credit for the yourself when the things goes very well, well no so normally this is the what we do so that's why the here the thinking the idea of the result of the karma so thinking the idea of the result of the karma thinking the thinking about a cause and the effect of karma, it's a something like that, that the, you are not blaming to someone. So when something not goes well, just think, oh, that might be the result of my karma. So that will help you to reduce your anger. Yeah, reduce your anger. That is a normally happens, not reduce your anger. So yeah, in the, that will happen lots of in the family. If you look at a family, when the things not goes well, maybe the husband and the wife and the kids, everyone trying to, not a blame also trying to find it out that what i it's the trying to tell the others that that the, how to say that so like it's some kind of the blame no so you're trying to throw each other 
So because of the, that, then it generates the anger. So that's why you have to think that it's a result of the, your own the bad karma. So you think that. So it will help the really lot. Most of the time, the, I think that in my life also, lots of things not go well. When the things not go well, it's very easy as to for generate the anger. Because not the things is not going well, things is not going as what you want. So that's why all the time I think, that, oh, that is the, we are in the samsara. We are in the samsara. So that's why they will have the problem. A lot of the problem they will have, I will accept it. In your life also like that, when you plan something, when you plan very well something and you're trying to do it when the things not go well, then you will get angry. Mainly reason is why you're getting angry is because things are not going well as you want. That's the main reason. That time you have to think that we are in the samsara and that, so that's why they will have the problem. Because of the own negative karma, sometimes that the result of that, we face the difficult challenges. So that's why you think that way. Okay, we are in the samsara. samsara. So there will be the always problem. There will be always issue. Okay, accept that. Okay. So it sometimes, lots of times it happened like that. Sometimes like that we planned. And uh, in the reality, it will not go as, the, as we plan, no? So that will happen a lot of times, no? So that's why, the, that's why the, we have to expect a lot of the unexpected things in our life, okay? Because we are in the samsara. Lot of the unexpected things will happen. So that's why the expect unexpected things, okay? Because of we are in samsara, okay? So that will be really help. So a lot of times there are some people get very angry very easily in the life because mainly because of these people who get angry very easily because of that because many things in the life they could not achieve that want because once you cannot achieve once you get, cannot get the what you want that also trigger the anger that time you always have to wear some sort of not only you all all of the pe people have having the same issue no one can achieve that the whatever they want but the one thing you should remember that the, sometimes not getting the what you want, it's a really stroke of the luck. It's a stroke of luck. Have you heard that the story of the King Solomon, whoever he touched it, it turned into the gold. I think you have heard that. He really wished that, that he said, he used to have us. The God gave him the, such a power that the, whatever he touched, it will turn into the gold. First moment, he was so happy. Later on, he realized it was cursed. Whatever he touched turned into the gold. Food into the gold. And the later he touched that on the hall, kids and the kids turned into the gold. Have you heard that story, no? I think that, oh, you have not heard that story. Okay, I will tell you the one story, okay? That the story is there's a one king. He was very greedy. He won only wish for the fortune. Then he asked, he prayed for the God and uh, asking the God that uh, gave him the such a boon or the such a power, whatever he touched, may it turn into the gold. And God gave him in that power so what he went is he when he touched he was so happy then he touched on the rock rock turned into the gold he touched into the stone stone turned into gold gold so he had the lots of the gold then then he thought to then he felt a little bit hungry then he thought to eat the food then he touched the food food turned into the gold he cannot eat the gold then he trying to drink the water so he touched the water and the trying to drink it it turned into the gold Everything what he touched turned into the gold. Then later, the, his kid came to hug him. He, he touched the, his kid, small kids. Small kid turned into, the, turned into the gold. Then he realized it was the curse. Now it is not a blessing, it's a curse. Actually, he get what he want, but it had turned into the curse, not a blessing. So that's why what I'm, my point is that in the life, sometimes the, we will not achieve the, what, I, what we want, but it can be the blessing. Okay. Now the third point. Third point is that generally it's a rejoicing, practice of the rejoice. Okay. Normally when you are happy, when you are happy, so you won't get angry that much. When you are stressed, then it is easier to get angry. So that's why that that's why they say they're saying that you should not make you should not make any promise when you are happy. So when you are happy, you will make a lot of the promise. No, you will make a lot of promise that you will do because you are at the state of. So that's why the when you are in the state of the happy, it will less less chances to get angry. 
So that's why the how you make yourself happy. That's what the practice we call the practice of the rejoicing. Practice of the rejoicing is the you have heard that the, uh, when you look at the precious of the human rebirth practice, we always say that we are so lucky that we achieve the human rebirth. That is a we teaching of the how we can practice the rejoice. How we have to count the, our blessings. So how we look the good things we are having it. When you look the good things of what you are having it. When you look the good things, what you are having, then you will feel very happy, very happy with the, what you are having. If you look at the kids, kid will become very happy with the ice cream, no? When chocolate will be happy, because it's showing that their happiness is a very cheap. When you get little old, you won't be happy with the one cup of the coffee. Your happiness will be more expensive. Then we will go. You will get happy when you get the car. Then you will go more. Your happiness will become more. More expensive. One thing is a very amazing thing. That not an amazing, so very interesting thing is that I was in that time. I think quite a couple of the years back, I was in New York and the students, and we went near by the riverside. Actually, the riverside. I went there the one time. I was crossing, that I saw that some people so uh, fishing. So I told the student one free day. I told the student I want to go to riverside pray for the fish. I saw a lot of fish dying in that side. So what my student did is a uh, uh, that the student. Park the car, didn't read it properly, the instruction. Then the later when we came back, they, they trolled the car. They took the car. So troll the car and the, then the later that the, my student went to get the car back and that's a story is like that. But the point is that the, when they troll the car and the person who trolling the car and the, met my student and they asked the, who's that person? No, me and the Lama wearing the red dress, no? So the student told that my master. So what he teach? So that the, the person asked the, my student what he teach. So the, my student told him that uh, he teach how to live strong and happily. So that person told the, my student, that's a very easy. How to become happy is very easy. I, right now, I don't have the Ferrari car. If I got the Ferrari car, I will be happy. That's very simple how to be happy. It's a, so point is that, the, so now the, my point is that the, if you look at the kid status, from the ice cream label, now you get for the car, house. Your happiness, how it become more and more expensive. So that is the rejoices in the Buddhist practice. What you talk about, the rejoice is the totally, totally is a thing that looking at yourself and counting the blessings. You look at yourself and look at what the good things you are having and the count the blessings. When you're counting the blessings, the, what will happen is that then you will feel more rejoiced, you will feel more happy. There is a one old monk, he meditated more than 40 years in the mountain, very high mountain. When I met him, he was very old, maybe age of 75, 80 like that. And the, more than half of his life, he stayed in Himalayan mountains, meditating in the small Amit the hood. Then when I met him and I asked him, that so many years you meditate, what you achieve? He told me one very interesting thing. He told me that now I feel so happy looking back on my life. Sometimes he feel like his life is a blessing. Sometimes with the happy, he always, the tears come out from the his eye. That is the thing. Living in the one small hurt, he can feel like that. Because see, that is a practice, looking and counting the blessings. No? So now look at your life. There are, the, how, there are the millions of the reasons that why you have to be the happy. Millions of the reasons, but they might have only few reasons that why you have to be sad. But the mind always see those reasons that why you have to be too sad. So that's why the segment friend said the one thing that, that that's a human cannot be the happy. Segment fraud said that, but I, I don't fully agree with that. He might have a, but he have a lot of the reasons for saying that. Because you, he said a human cannot be the happy at all. What you're saying, the happiness is a very temporary. Then again, he, that human will think there's something wrong thing. Again, the negative thing. And again, make the, himself or herself unhappy. So why I'm saying there are the thousands of reasons that why, why you have to be the happy. There are the only few reasons that why you have to be the sad or unhappy. But most of the time, we look at the, those reasons that why you have to be the unhappy. So that's why the now in this the rejoice practice to get it look at the things that what the good things you are having in families, friends, and the whatever foods on the table or the whatever. Okay, look at that. 
and they count it, okay, rejoicing that and they look at that things, okay. So then they might have the, yeah, so yeah, then the, then you will have the more you rejoice and the more you feel happy, then the less you will get angry. So more you are unhappy, more you are feeling the sad, more you feel stressed, then it will get much easier to get angry, okay. So that's why they look at the old, I mean, now the, this time the practice and look at the all the good things what you are having and uh, what you are having, good things, what you are having, okay? So that's, you just have to look that, okay, good things, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, this is the practice, okay? That is more like a counting the blessings, okay? Counting the blessings, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so one time, it's a very interesting, one small kids, I think I asked that kid, that's a many years back, maybe 15 years back in the Yasanti in the monastery. He is very cheerful kid. He is just a cheerful kid, and uh, and uh, yeah. So then the, I gave him the one comic that was small. The kids comic, and uh, then I asked him the one question that the, what do you think day, day to day life? No, what do you think? The small kid told me very that he's a very cheerful small kid. So he told me very interesting thing that the, he told me day to day life. He used to think like a, he's eating the. You know the fry noodle we call the chowman in the Tibetan food. It's a fry noodles, and he used to think that it's a very hardly to get the fry noodle in the monastery. Only the special occasion they can get the fry noodle. So he used he told me day to day he just like a dream or thing like he was eating the fry noodles and the ice cream. <laughs> that is one sort of it is like a one sort of the daydream, one sort of fantasizing. But the thing is that it makes him the happy, no? Fantasizing, it makes him the some like a happy. So that's why the, that is a something like the look. It exactly, exactly the what the kid is doing. Exactly, we have to do the same, but not eating like a fried noodles. Just look at the what the good things we are having. It plus when you look on the that side, then slowly you will feel the happy. Most of the time, you will be the happy. Now the in this time. When the people have to be the happy, what they have to do? They have to go for the party. They need a, some friend. Because that makes your happiness very dependent. Very dependent to the others. So you need to go to the party. You need uh, someone to friends or to talk. Or you need to use the, I mean, the computers or whatever. But you, there's, if I tell you, close your eye and be happy, it's very difficult for you. Because you didn't practice on that side, no? What you have to do, close your eyes and think that what the good things you are having. Get to rejoice it. Trying to be think that be happy with the, what the good things you are having, what the blessings you are having, the families, friends, or the whatever. Okay. Okay. That is the okay, fourth point, the practicing the rejoice. Okay. Rejoicing and then it will help you to reduce the anger. Okay. Rejoicing. Am I clear? Mm, I cannot hear. Yes. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, if you are not very clear, please correct me, okay? In case if I make some of the grammatical error while I'm speaking, okay, <laughs> you can correct me, okay? <laughs> okay, so rejoicing, okay? Now the, now the, okay, now this will be the last point of the how we can uh, anger, okay? Control the anger. Last point is uh, normally what you have to do is, as I told the last time, just look at the negative sides of the anger, okay? So now what you have to do is look at the one you generate the anger and how it hurt to the, your close people, okay? How it hurt, how it make the others people unhappy. Look at that and learn from the, your past mistake. Look at the past, look at your past mistake, okay? That was the very, I mean, the very, mm, uh, very, I mean, the, that is effective. Look at the, your past mistake. When you get angry, especially most of the time, 90% you get the angry with the person whom you are more close, 90% of the anger. Because you have to deal with them day to day life, you have to deal with these people. Now 90% you will get angry to the place, person who are close to you. So now you learn from the, your past mistake when you generate the anger toward them, how it makes unhappy others, how you make unhappy yourself, okay? That you look back, okay? Look back and this also meditation. Close your eyes, or or maybe you would think that the thing about that the uh, how you feel, how others feel when you generate the anger toward your close one and your family. Okay, 
that is the learning from the past mistake okay learning from the past mistake that is a very important for that okay learning from the past mistake in the buddha story they, they one some one time the buddha was buddha's time that uh, when the person they meet mostly in the gardens or the under the tree when buddha said under the tree one time said under the tree and the one person came towards buddha and they started to debate with buddha and that that person certainly lost the control and he got very angry and he spit on the buddha's face but the buddha was keep smiling so then he left and at that night he could not sleep when he was sleeping on the buddha's face buddha was just keeping smiling and just washed his face so he could not sleep that night and the next day he came to the buddha's and asked for the forgiveness told that please forgive me what i did yesterday splitting on your face again the buddha smiled and told that the first thing is that i cannot forgive you because the first thing is that i never generate the anger towards you at all when you're splitting on my face now if you want the forgiveness go and ask the ananda ananda was a buddha's the cousin and his attendant ask him to forgiveness he will be happy when he has the forgiveness because the first he generated the anger towards you now you came and asked the forgiveness he will be happy to give forgive you so this is the story that the, what we can learn is simply same thing like that that the, sometimes that the sometimes in the life that the in especially the close people in the home someone has a shouted at you be like a buddha okay keep smiling I know that when you keep smiling, sometimes it may trigger the more angers, more angers than your close one. When you keep smiling, more you'll be the calm. No, it was the so interesting one. News came in the Indian newspaper. I think you can go and search in the Google, Google in the search in the one wife want to divorce the husband. That Indian, in the I think that happened in the South India. The, you can search in the Google. Okay, news was so interesting. Wife want to divorce the husband. You know the what the reason the why she want to divorce her husband. She's saying that when her husband never gets angry, never fights her back, so she want to get divorced. <laughs> can you imagine that? Can you just go and search the Google? That you, but the, that is the such a. statement that when she said that whenever she fight with her husband she never fight her back so sometimes that is a sometimes the hum now you can look at human the psychology it's really how complicated is that <laughs> so that's why why i'm saying it is the one in the family when someone shout at you when you smile and smile maybe that might trigger the anger more okay sometimes you have to be careful <laughs> so so that is okay so that's why the what i'm saying is that it's a very important to keep the calm okay especially that now the you learn from the your past mistake and the, when in the someone especially when they show anger towards you it's a very important to keep your anger okay keep smiling or to cool you down okay cool you down and the, then the best thing is keep the silence okay for the moments so it's a very important okay when someone shout at you in the home or your close friend if you shout them back then the coral or coral or the the anger anger is like a flame no and it will get the bigger and bigger okay so so that's a thing okay last point okay so that's a important thing that uh, what you have to learn from the your past mistake okay past mistake and uh, learn it from the past mistake okay so that is the how you gen the anger and how it hurt others happiness and your own happiness okay that is the what you have to do then also the then the now you control the your anger now also know the how to control the others anger okay first thing is one you can control the your anger when the others are generating the anger best thing is that you just recite a mantra okay om mani padme hum like this mantra or pray for the of lokteshwar or buddha to bless them to bless them to get over the anger bless them to heal their anger okay that is also good someone is shouting at you just you chant the mantra or whatever okay to pray the buddha to bless that person who are getting angry towards you bless them and uh, get them bless them and uh, bring the more uh compassion so the more peace of mind in their mind okay that's also you can do that okay 
because sometimes when I travel and they're wearing the very like this rat clothes, sometimes the people will gaze at me, no? So gaze and stare at me. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult, no? So <laughs> because you can help me, no? Because they are wearing the very different clothes, no? Sometimes in the in the people, in the some of the certain village area in the most of in the I mean the India and India in these areas when they never saw like these people, no, so wearing the very purple red clothes, they will gaze astray at me. And sometimes then that I used to think that whoever see like this me, like wearing the Buddha's clothes, no, Buddha's clothes, may they born in the Buddha's pure land. So I used to think like that. Yeah, bless them the Buddha and may they born in the Buddha's pure land. Well, thinking like that. So sometimes I feel happy that people who are staring at me, you know, gazing at me and staring at me. So same thing like that, no? So when someone generates the anger towards you, what you can do is that uh, just pray and uh, pray the Buddha or, or the chant the mantra and uh, pray them, they bless them and they heal their anger or get more mental peace in their mind, okay? If you do that, then you will do it again, again, and again, and again. If you do it, then it will be very easy. No? Normally, if someone shows the anger toward you, our reaction will be fight with them back. That is our first reaction. That is our big mistake we are doing it. Okay? When the person lost the, when you get the, lost the control and generate anger and shout at you, you keep kind and prayer. Okay? When the person cool down, then you can talk and explain. Okay? Let him let him or her to cool down okay when it get cool down then you can talk and explain okay okay thank you today we'll stop here and i'll leave for the question and cessation if you have any questions okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. any questions okay if there's no mm -hmm. Okay, if you have no questions, then the today the okay now no, we have, today the we finish that uh, now today on the anger management program. So you do that homework, okay? What I told you that do the homeworks, okay? And the most important thing is that the, when you this is a, something like a, I told you like a theory. Different. Now when you carry on the practice, it is like a, you are doing the research in the laboratory, okay? So when you do the research in the lab, then you might get a different different. Results, then let me know. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, first we will learn the theory, then you have to go into the lab. Okay, then you do the okay experiment. Okay, now what this is today, what you learn the theory, and then now do the experiment in your real life. Okay, so any difficulty or any challenges or the whatever comes, then let me know. Okay, 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 thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you, and uh, today we'll stop here. Then we'll see you again yeah, okay, next time. And uh, yeah, also the one thing that uh, just to remind that uh, today is a Thursday night, isn't it, over there? Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, tomorrow, I mean, the Saturday is the 15th of the lunar calendar, first month. And mm. uh, normally if we will say that is the first uh, 15, the first full moon day of the lunar calendar. So that day, it will be good that uh, if you can do some practice or the, if you can chant any mantra or if you read any Dharma books, okay? And uh, that day, maybe you try your best to not to generate anger, not to generate any negative. Okay? <laughs> that day, okay? First, you're starting there, okay? 15 of the calendar. That will be on the this Saturday, okay? This Saturday. The legendary story is that uh, this is the day when the Buddha... Uh, Buddha was uh, chased by the very six very aggressive and the egoistic scholar chased the Buddha because they they are so angry with the Buddha's the fame. Buddha become a very famous in the kingdom, so they chased the Buddha all the time. The chase asked him to debate with the Buddha, debate with him with the Buddha. So one very interesting story is that the Buddha always run away from the this scholars. This very egoistic scholar, he was running and running. One that time, the many small kingdoms, so one kingdom to another kingdom, another kingdom. They chase and chase. After finally, Buddha accepted their challenge, accepted their challenge, and that that is the day when he was he defeated this six egoistic. The I mean the scholar, no, he defeated in the that the debate challenge. So he defeated. That is the day. So the, so that's why the, we are saying that that is the day of the Buddha's the miracle day, miracle day. Mainly the, because the main miracle is that the transformation. 
because when you are very short tempered and you transform into the very uh, happy person, that is a real miracle. Okay, so that is the real miracle. That is that you should expect that happen on that day. Okay, real miracle. Okay. Okay, when you transform the yourself into a better person, when you transform into the happier person, when you transform yourself as a more and a kind person, that is a real miracle. Okay, so I hope that on the, that that this Saturday, you, you uh, I hope that this Saturday may, or your practice may bring you some big results in your life. Okay, okay, and that you can keep on some chanting the Buddha Sutra or whatever this Saturday. Okay, that will be the today is the Thursday. In, Thursday night, isn't it? Over there, Thursday night? Yeah, so Thursday that, night. So, yeah, yep. so that will be on the Saturday. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you, Rinpoche.